Okay, so the first thing I want to tell you is that you do you. This is my workflow, but you do what works for you, okay? So one of the first things I want to talk about is your workspace. Make sure that your desk is nice and clean, and if you can afford to do it, have a second or even a third monitor. Now, I inherited my husband's monitor. That's the top one that you see there. But I started out with two screens, and the reason I have two screens is because I can put my uh, research tree, like what I'm working on, I can put the tree on one side, and then I can put all of the hunting, pecking, and looking, and researching on the other side so I can keep referencing the other tree and, you know, kind of have two things going at once. Now, what's really cool about having a third screen is it just gives you a ton of real estate. You can put your research notes up top. You can, you know, put other documents that you find that you want to reference on a different screen. So I will leave uh, links in the show notes about some of the monitors that I use here. Um, I actually have two different monitors. This is an Acer. This is a, a ViewSonic. And up here is an LG. So I kind of have a mix and match, but they're all working great. And uh, I love it. I, I will never go back to a single monitor again. Here, I usually just right click and hit uh, display settings. And it takes me right to this screen. And here you can see that I have the three monitors uh, hooked up here. And you can actually rearrange these. You can move them around however you want. I like it like this. And if you're not sure which screen is which, you can hit the identify. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. Let me hit it again. You can see the one, two, and three on the screen. And then what you do is you scroll down and you click this down here. It says extend my desktop to display, right? You can duplicate desktop on one and two. You can duplicate desktop two and three. You but this is what you want. Extend my desktop to these displays. Okay. In my case, I have three screens. This is, you know, the ultra wide one that you see at the top. That's why uh, it shows super wide here. Um, I usually just leave this at the recommended settings. I leave this at the recommended settings. You want it in landscape unless you want to rotate your monitor sideways. Sometimes you can do that depending on your, your monitor. Um, but Quite frankly, I think this is how I like it. Genealogy TV has a website, a newsletter, and a Facebook page. Links for all of that are in the show notes below. There are three ways you can get the handouts. Now, the first way is to join the channel membership here at the information access level channel membership on the YouTube channel, and then go to the community tab and you'll find the posts that have the handout links in there. All you have to do is follow the link and download the handouts. Okay, now the second way is over at Patreon. Now at Patreon, if you're at the happy dance level or higher, uh, you can get the handouts. Those come directly to you in an email every time we announce the new video that has a handout with it. You'll also get early release with that membership. All right, and then the third way is just to go over to genealogytv.org and click on the handouts tab and you can find all the handouts there for individual purchase. So uh, I hope that was helpful. The handouts really do support the channel and for that I thank you.